Abhidev. And I'm Rahul. And we make up two-thirds of Binjai Brew. You might have heard of us as the three guys who brewed beer at NTU and had to stop. But yeah, our story started way before that. We met on the first day of school, I think. Year one, year two, we used to hang out quite a bit. In my summer exchange, I interned at a brewery in California. So when we got back to school, they were wondering, like, how easy is it to make beer? Like, did you learn how to make beer? And I was like, yeah, the heck yeah, it's easy. But let's give it a shot, right? Uh, so they're like, what do you need? So I was like, oh, we need this pot, we need that container, and we need this few ingredients. So we're like, okay, let's give it a go, right? Well, the first batch, it tasted like it's supposed to taste, all right? But then what happened was that we got the conversion wrong between gallons and liters. So it had twice the concentration of alcohol. <laughs> so we, we, we followed the same recipe again and just added the right amount of water this time. And it came out pretty good. Then after that, we're, we're like, hey, let's put this on Instagram, right? <laughs> like, it's just, just for fun. And then like, people were like, wow, this tastes pretty legit. And we're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Actually, yes, we did get caught for it and we had to stop. What is the point of He was. <laughs> he was disappointed. Yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, that's good fun, right? Well, he was like, now we have nothing else to do. You know? <laughs> From there, we decided to pursue it full time and make it into a legitimate business, which we officially launched in December last year. So today we're at On Tap, uh, and this is where we brew our beer. We're down here about three times a month, and we also come down here to can our beer. Let's go! So this is uh, where we mill our grain. So milling the grain kind of breaks open the husks of the grain in, in order to expose them when we put them in water during the mashing process. Are you going to eat it? Oh, I can if you want to. Mm. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> uh, after the mashing comes a boiling process, which takes about an hour as well. We're boiling the sugar solution left over from the grain, uh, and we're boiling it together with hops. So hops are what give uh, beer its bitterness. And as you can see, the hops have coloured the top of the solution green, and that's what it looks like. And it's going to be boiled for another 60 minutes before we cool it down and we put it in the fermenter. So what's your favourite part about the process? The favourite part is when you can get some beer out of the tank and taste it. <laughs> At 9 in the morning. <laughs> I think the best part about what we do is the people we meet. <laughs> yeah, it's like we meet so many different people and everybody's so interesting. And so we did this event recently. One guy came to our store and he threw away some, some, some commercial beer. He like put a can on our counter. He's like, you know, take this, throw it away and give me some of that beer. So like the back-end process of like making beer is tiring and it's like stressful and you're like, oh no, why am I doing this? But then when you see people drink it and they're happy, you're like, oh. It's yeah, worthwhile, yeah, you know, it's worthwhile, yeah. You see, what happens when you order off our website is that one of us will be delivering the beer to your house and if literally everybody ordered on our website, we would die. So, we also want our beer to be accessible to like many Singaporeans. And Red Mart, being another Singaporean company as well, uh, really helps us to reach that objective because then people don't feel compelled to buy a six-pack to get free delivery. Then maybe with their shopping they can try a can of our beer. And then that allows us to reach people in a more accessible way uh, and uh, in a way that's more convenient for them without them having to leave the comfort of their house as well. We someday would want to have our own brewery come tap room. And the reason for that is because we feel we'd be able to express ourselves the best through that. Because a lot of our brand is about who we are and who we want to connect with. By taking control of how we sell our beer and creating that environment for our customers, that's the best way to go about doing that. And it'll be damn fun. Yeah. We have like parties every day. Yeah. <laughs>